Yo, we just ran across the best coffee in Texas. That's a lot to say. There's some good coffee places. There's some good coffee places. We'll see. So, yeah. We'll see, Miss. We're here. Uh, We're going to just take you with us. This is the Turquoise Coffee Stop. Turquoise Coffee Stop. Somewhere near Vernon, Texas. Yep. On our way to Colorado. We're going to take it. We just barely charged the battery. So you got all this little stuff up here. Got this tiny, right in the sun, turquoise coffee stop. Let me get it. There's two doors, but let's go in this Perfect. one. Perfect, all right, let's There's go. There's two doors, we're gonna go in this one. Got our turquoise coffee. Turquoise coffee. We were kind of nervous to film inside, but they were really cool. There's yeah. like a bunch of these logic puzzles all over the walls and there was like... Um, While we waited, the guy made us do puzzles. He was giving us riddles, written yes. riddles. They were fantastic. Physical riddles, uh, lateral logical puzzles. Mm -hmm. We couldn't solve one. We couldn't really figure it out. We'll uh, cut to that later, I guess. And this looked much nicer, but I ate all the whipped cream off. But <laughs> What did you get? I got a brown sugar ice latte. Mm, I got uh, half vanilla, half peppermint. Delicious. Very delicious. Delicious. Best coffee in Texas. I get it four. That's fucking good. I it's give good. it. That's a good, good. That's a good solid four point five out of five. You can definitely taste. You, if you can taste the espresso through the cop, like through the rest of it, it's good. It's good. It's good. All right. So All right. onward. onward. to Trinidad. Uh, Benign's in rooted over there getting us a pre-roll. We are going to stop the next uh, rest stop. Just kind of, you know, chill out for a second, hang out, and uh, yeah, we'll be on our way to Manitou Springs. Probably to the Ludlow Massacre Memorial Site. And what are we going to do there? Uh, it is very likely that we may or may not consume something that we got. Something I picked up, you know, picked up on the way into little Trinidad. Sun, sun. Little uh, bubble bath. <laughs> bubble bath. I'm going to try it out, you know. Yeah. Try out the local sites. We wanted to get in on uh, the, 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 the local culture and what, of Trinidad. Oh, Trinidad. And what they do here. <laughs> Smoke weed. Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. Let me know it's best. Don't drink and drive. I missed it. <laughs> oh, look.
This was where that fateful day happened. And that's the death pit. Last time we were here, we were looking at this memorial and there's something called a death pit, which is that hole right there. And I noticed that this is just open. I was wondering how they put coins and rocks and stuff on this little thing, which is pretty cool. All these coins and rocks, and memorabilia. And broken, that's kind of scary. It's even kind of echoing right here. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like a slight echo, especially if I face that way. But right here, and then I noticed the death pit is not locked at all. So I don't know if I'll be brave enough to do it today, but last time we opened it and me and Bowser and Painted all went down there and it's like a little box room. I'm, I'm even kind of scared to open it because we don't, we don't even remember these flowers here and that little grave site. It's a little freaky. Maybe. Maybe when we come back next time, I'll open it. But if not, we'll splice some footage here of us doing it last time when we were braver. Okay, Brandon, that's all you, man. Come on. Yeah, man. No way. No way. No way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. We got a first leg. I didn't know we were doing this today, so I didn't know we were doing this today. I got this, though. I have to take a picture of this. Here. You son of a bitch. Nobody told me we'd be doing this. I know, but I have to. I have to now. Just... No. Okay, where's the light? You got a light. Yeah. No. Hey, ghost. No, don't do not say. Do not. Do not. Don't say stuff like that. literally all it is. It's crazy. Oh, fuck. My own scared. My own shit. scared. Brandon. That's literally all it is. My own shit. It's little fucking squid. It's a little fucking cube. Why didn't you go down all the way? Because oh, I was scared, man. I didn't want something to come up from my door. I literally thought it was my own if shadow I, of me creeping down. If I go first, down. if I go first with a flashlight, would somebody follow me? Oh. Hey, you'll love it. It's just a little square. Where people will burn a lot. <laughs> I really want to go down there. I will. Bro. Mer We're in this creepy ass. We had to come here. Look, it's got a glass door. It can't be scary if it's got a glass door. This is crazy. Here, Kyle, just since you're too much of a bitch to see it, we're gonna record the whole inside. <laughs> He's so fake. These walls are cracking too. That's crazy. That was it. Look at that. We we faced our fears, guys. This was a weird, scary whole pit thing where people <laughs> died inside. And we're alive. Let's close it. Forever. Seal it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be another note that says, for the love of God, please don't go in. <laughs> now, what do you say we do what we came here to do? A little bit of bubble bath. Get out of the tube. 
We're using a Playboy brand lighter to light this today. You just held that the wrong way. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. We're using a Playboy brand lighter to light this today. Can I already smell it. Funny and interesting thing about the Ludlow Massacre is it happened on 420. So what more appropriate place is there to smoke? In honor of the women and children that lost their lives. Here you go, painted. Bring it down. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting that. I was actually expecting just to vlog you because you're the musician and I have no life. No well, problems. come over here. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, that's metal. It's cold. I thought it was wood. It's cold. Either way, it's cold wood. as shit. Yeah. Sit on the steps. Yeah. Well, they took the porta potty away. Probably found a dead body in it. Oh, I couldn't see. Sorry. Oh my god, this is even colder. <laughs> it's like marble. Yeah. So yeah, we're like what two hours from Colorado Springs? We are less than two hours. We were about an hour and a half. Making extremely good time. We left at like six thirty. So it's not bad. We lost an hour, so that worked out. It's true. We're back in time. Or gained an hour. I don't yeah. know how things well, we work. Went back in is we daylight went. savings time still a thing? Is daylight is, let us know in the comments if daylight savings time still exists. <laughs> what do you think of this bubble bath? It's good. I do um I like the taste of it. It's very citrusy. Uh it kinda has piney like aftertaste and whatever. It's very piney. I like it. I feel that good. I feel even. really like even now. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like crazy. Oh man. Also, I've been driving for like, how long? Like, at like eight hours, nine hours? Something like that. It's like a whole full shift. <laughs> you just pretend you drive for a living, it's not that bad. The wind was cold on my neck. <coughs> I should have brought a scarf and I didn't think about it. I don't know what Ludlow is, but that's good shit. Uh, I've never taken a bubble bath before. Don't forget to bring a towel. R2 D2? Was that you? Were I hope, you I hope the camera picked up that bird. That was beautiful timing. <laughs> Hello? That bird trying to get some. I hate when I like notice things and then I can't find them again. Oh. Never mind. I see it. Do you see that? This little thing hanging on the gate. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, that's oh, beautiful. What is this thing? Oh, sorry. <coughs> I'm taking this home to Bowser. Hey, look, a piece of paper. I found a note. So who is this fellow Cohen? Some sort of underworld figure? Worse. He's an artist. Sweet mother of Columbia. Why do we worship three symbols in your memory? We worship the sword. So that we might offend you. We worship the raven. I'll let the shit go out. No, I did. No, I did. It was still it. <laughs> Found this rock for Bowser. I accidentally started zooming in. Sorry. 
this weapon you might just be knighted made no attention to my dirty ass <laughs> apparently i've never Talk been on live television so before watch it be unveiled hear the sound of this reveal it might hit you in a little bit more than your feels and you better hope that you can heal my blade will not, but my mind is sharper still And I'll use both to develop my skill Endeavor whatever comes in a binge for the blood spill Better hope that you can heal Better hope that you can heal I didn't close the gate Who will get out? The Zambies The Zambies we just can't seem to get away from Texas, you know? We were just in Deep Bellum like three weeks ago <laughs> with Shib, Shib, Shiba. I'm gonna keep saying Shib, man. <laughs> Shib, amazing. And look, look what we found. Right here at the Ludlow Massacre. Representing the homeland, Deep Bellum. All right, here we are in Colorado. How you feeling, Benign? Oh, I'm feeling great. We just stopped at my favorite dispensary, Maggie's Farm. We picked up we picked up a few things, you know. I got some, I got some bubs, gubs. Oh yeah. Got some bubble gum, you know, my favorite strain. If you know me at all, you know I love bubble gum. I'm an indica person. But we looked through all their pre rolls and painted. Got a lemon crown joint, which we're gonna be smoking on our first night in Colorado. So we'll hit you back with a just after smoked joint vlog. We're gonna get high. <laughs> Update: We just smoked. Lemon Crown. Is that what it's called, right? Yeah. We smoked Lemon Crown. Immediately, I was feeling, this isn't even right to you. <laughs> Immediately, I started feeling, I started, let's turn this on. I started feeling alert, more alert. It's October in Colorado, so it's kind of cold out here. My nose is running. So I started feeling like I got warmer. I started feeling like I got warmer. I'm definitely baked as fuck. I'm definitely baked as fuck. Oh, and colors. Colors are much more vivid to me. At least lights are kind of brighter and it's like contrast. It's like someone okay. put a contrast okay. filter. I already have a sensitivity to light, but I get actual that. Things just look more vivid. I've done it too. All right. Anyways, that's the uh, that's the update on the Lemon Crown. We'll update you with the next stream Peace. later. Day two, we were up and about. We went outside and started smoking my favorite strain, bubble gum. They were like, oh shit, we should have grabbed the camera. So I've got the camera now. This is our little smoking area. We had a new neighbor, some type of cat, but we haven't seen the cat again. So yeah, bubble gum. I can know mine because of the sun. The sun is devastating. So look, this is our nice pool right here. You can see we, we put all the money towards the hotel. We definitely went, you know, <laughs> we went ham. We wanted to open up our bank accounts to make sure we got the most high class hotel we could yeah. think of, that we could find. Benign, how you feeling? How's your day going? Are you ready? Where are you going? We're going to the North Pole. Today is Halloween day, day two. It's our second day in Colorado today. It's Halloween day, 2022. Get a peep of those mountains. Look at these mountains. We got Pikes Peak over there, peeking up, peeking up. Pikes Peak peeking up behind those mountains over there. Hell yeah. Um, it's lovely, it's a great day. You see all the blue sky, uh, not really any clouds. We got a plane over there somewhere, you can see that. But <laughs> yeah, but today we're celebrating. The North Pole. The North Pole is something. I see Santa. I think today we're gonna we're gonna relive a lot of stuff that I tell people about constantly. I used to live here when I was like 10, 9, 10, 11, turned 10 and 11, I think, here. Manitou Springs, Colorado. So today we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do like a tour. First off, we're celebrating our anniversary. Facts. Facts. We've been celebrating our anniversary for a month. This is the final day of our anniversary, over a month. Yeah. And it's sad September sixteenth to now. So it was like it was like a little over a month, right? Yeah. So like that. So you month and a half. So yeah, we're gonna go to North Pole, and then later tonight we're gonna go to this arcade amusement park. It's called Arcade Amusements, not amusement park. <laughs> but it's called Arcade Amusements, and it's like four buildings of arcade games, like old school cabinets, new games, um, physical games like skee ball and stuff like that, but also like video games, like uh, you know fighting, <coughs> Tekken. We got Turtles in Time is over there, pretty sure. So 
Yeah, uh, I've always told people about this, so I thought it'd be great to vlog a little trip there too and kind of just do everything today. Smile for the camera, man. How you feeling? What's she eating? Yeah, we if did. I can't it. find the answer. Where do I go? Is everybody lying? Pulled up on our favorite coffee spot here, Humble Coffee. I'm about to get myself a Nelly Machado. Over here. Humble Coffee. Take a look at our little menu. And the Quiet little mountain. Why is no one taking no action? There's no airplanes in five seconds. The fucking jets. Damn diesel trucks everywhere. <laughs> All right, so the melody is a maple toffee nut latte. It is so fucking delicious. And I got the drink of the moment, which is pumpkin marshmallow, but I got it half sweet. It's fucking delicious. I was gonna say it's fucking amazing. Incredible. We love humble coffee. Go to humble coffee if you're around Colorado right, wait, Springs, wait, 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 Colorado. Wait, wait. Bars. Fucking amazing. <clears throat> we came here like three times on our April trip, I think. Yeah, like three times or something in three days. Trip. This will probably be the first of a couple times we'll go. Definitely have to leave with a humble coffee. Oh, you know, 100%. I'm gonna head out with that. All right. Catch ya next time. We'll be, if you see us, we'll be at the North Pole. Oh, yeah. Whee! Whee! <laughs> The sun is a million degrees. My corneas are burning and my renders no longer exist. Fucking stoner. We made it. We're at the North Pole. We're gonna go enjoy some Christmas festivities on Halloween Day. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'll zoom in right here. We think we saw a sign that says, what is this, what is this? Is this free, free admission? admission today. What on earth are the chances of that? Benign, you tell us. I don't the know fuck what are the chances, chances are. we choose to spend Halloween on the North Pole and we don't even have to fucking pay to get in? That's crazy. It's interesting. It reminds me of the time we went to Capulin Volcano. And we just happened to be there on Veterans Day. Dude, yes. And they I let us go up that. to the volcano yes. for free. You hey guys, like, look at this beautiful fucking view right what here. It? It's like 55, fucking 60 amazing. degrees right now. But it's going to get warmer. It's nice. It's a good day. It's nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You ready to go? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> On a sky ride. <laughs> Painted, how you feeling up here? I am absolutely terrified of heights. Oh, this is the worst part. Stop. 
Just keep your arms and legs in the vehicle at all times. Are you still recording? Yes. Oh, Steve down here is vaping in his car. Very chill. But we got Santa's train ride right below us. You're at the North Pole. Yes. So yeah, this this is like an this is actually made of ice. Look, that's, that's legit ice. It's, it stays frozen year year round. It's the motherfucking North Pole. The mother of ice. Yep, we here. We did it. We did it. Okay. Is it me or do it like smell some little thing up. before Elmer started performing? Lost my partner, what'll I do? Lost my partner, what'll I do? Lost my partner, what'll I do? Skip to my loo, my darling. Loo, loo, skip to my loo, 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 skip to my loo, skip to my loo, my darling. Contributions are used for the less fortunate, as they should be. Take note, Christianity and, and contemporary Christians. Tithes and offerings are for the less fortunate. That's why you don't get taxed. Not sneaking stuff in your fucking pockets, motherfucker. Some mallows. We're about to roast some mallows. They sell these. They sell these. These s'mores packs. And then we have a, a fire, we can roast, we can roast that. So we're gonna roast our mallows and we're gonna mash them on top of some chocolate in between some graham crackers. It's gonna be delicious. This is my stick. And then when we are done, we will return these sticks in the black buckets, pointy side down. For safety. For safety. After we sword fight for a minute. Something's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Simon Workshop. Starting in just five minutes, our magic production will present visions of sugar plums, featuring the magic of Balthazar. Let's go watch some magic. There, that's a s'more. That's how you s'more. You don't want any. You don't want any darkness on there. A little, a little toast just to melt the, just to melt the, the, the chocolate. And then you got a map, then you got. I'm not gonna eat this on camera. Just take the lid for the release. You need to begin to pull and tug, and tug and pull. So you keep pulling and tugging and tugging and pulling until the end. All three ropes are one of the same length. And when I first started, I tried to do that. I really did, but I, I couldn't. And then one day when I was practicing, I saw the chief candy maker walk in my direction. And I, I, I panicked. And I cheated. I brought the ends of the ropes together one at a time. First the ends of the short rope, then the ends of the long rope, and lastly the ends of the medium length rope. My hope was that if the chief candy maker noticed the ends are even, he might assume the ropes are even. He would quickly point out that the middles are not even, and I was cheating, and that one out worked at all. He said, no, no, you must take the end of the long rope, the end of the medium length rope, and the end of the short rope, and begin to pull and tug, and tug and pull. And you keep pulling and tugging and tugging and pulling, until at the end you have one, two, 
three equal pieces of bread. Oh. We just we just rode three rides in a row that felt like we were gonna die, but we made it. We're alive, so that's that's that. But look at this view. Good old Rocky Mountain. You know, it's it's not that high. It's no, only, you can look behind me, guys. It's only the highest in elevation. It's not typically the biggest Ferris wheel that we could be on. But 100%, my vagina's in my stomach and I have to pee. Perfect. If we just do what we can do. That is perfect. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Oh my god. Oh, you would. We're on the sky ride again. Yep, we're way up high. There's a good old train track below us. About to see the motherfucking park over here. Somebody on the train, watch it take off. Hi, I'm Benign. You may remember me from the vlog earlier. <laughs> so yeah, I used to come here a lot and we used to go to this candy shop called Patsy's right here. So back when I was a kid, it was like 75 cents and you could get like an ice cream cone with like the chocolate vanilla swirl for like 75 cents. Let's go in there, 75 cents, bam! This chocolate vanilla swirl, ice cream, it's amazing. Now it's a little more uh, inflated and uh, really touristy, so it's not like it was before, but it's really dope regardless. But come on, let's continue. All right, so there's like four full buildings of arcades all the way this way. There's rides and stuff here too. Uh, yeah, so I've broken a lot of these. These ones I don't really ride anymore, but there's so many arcade games. Actually, let's go this way. Let's go this way. There's, there's, the, there's, the, there's the outside area with all these arcade I'm pretty sure one of them was Turtles in Time. If I remember correctly, we right here. And apparently I remember correctly because we got Turtles in Time. Like I said, Turtles in Time. I gotta go get some quarters and shit. I'll be playing this shit in a couple seconds. I gotta go get some quarters. I forgot. I gotta, I gotta change specifically to get quarters. But if we look over here, we also got a gallon machine. And the 
worst thing if we could ever see on a, on a Gallagher machine out of order. That's fucking devastating right there. That's devastation. I remember at this specific machine, I went here with my friend Andrew. Shout out to Andrew if you, if you still exist. Uh, but we went back and forth trying to outscore each other on this machine. And I would get a, a high score higher than him, and then he would get a high score higher than me. And then we just kept going back and forth. It was good times. Are trick or treating up those shops up and down the street. Everybody's in costumes, it's really dope, but since everybody's trick or treating and getting candy and maximizing their candy intake, you know, all the arcades are free and open. So, this, this is what it is right here. This is what it is. We got jingle, jingle, jingle. That's awesome. Clang, clang, clang. I think me and Hayden, if, if you're down, we'll play a game of pool. That's a, that's, that's a good start, you know? You can turn in your tickets to get crazy shit. You can get lighters and brain trays and stuff. Mario backpacks. There you go first. <laughs> Okay, we didn't want to take up the whole arcade. We had other people going in, so we cut it off. But very hard-fought victory. I managed to sink the eight ball into this pocket. These gumballs have been in here since 1993. They had to have. I refused to buy them. Boston Beats. If it still costs five cents, it's disgusting. For bad money, for bad money, I probably consumed every candy up in these things. Twice. Let's go to the arcade. Right. I'm not going to be all the old school can mold the shit. Oh, that one, that's a good one. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, good job. Oh, this one. Is this the, uh, the quarter one? I'm going forward to check it out, just how it goes right here. Press the button to pitch, press the button to bat. Alright. Oh, bet! A Dow and a double in the same, in the same strike. Double, let's go! Home run! Is it out? Yes. Yeah, this whole place you need like dimes and quarters and shit. Dimes and nickels. It's one of those old nudie machines. You turn it and you crank and you get to see a nudie show. Old school gun game. Shoot ducks. Here on our anniversary celebration, we got the love tester. Okay, so painted is gonna go first. That is a burning love. That is an uncontrollable love. Oh man. Uncontrollable. I'm about to get showed up. 
shown up. Leave my home, my biggest shown up. <laughs> Oh, you only, you only burningly love me? I uncontrollably love you. If you get burning, that'd be so funny. <laughs> if I get burning, it's gonna be hilarious. Clammy. What's this? I'm harmless. No, I'm mild. Why am I mild? That's so funny. I think you're, I think you're hot. I'm, I'm more I than mildly love. I think love. you're hot stuff. <laughs> Hot stuff. I'm Hair burning. Stuff. It was a controllable burn. <laughs> we going this way. Yeah, you want to do the uh, that's nine. Why is it single women? Why is it single women? Test your breath. I want to. I want to know advice for single women. Oh, I want to know my second. Five cents. I don't have any nickels. Let's see if I have a nickel. I must they know my second. Uh, change your change. Change your change. Because I also want a dime for this monkey. <laughs> They don't even touch. This one, all types of games. This one right here, me and my twin brother and our best friend would play this all the time. And there's this really cool Galaga machine. We won tickets. And then here's the other Galaga. And look, have you ever seen the movie Big? Good old Zoltar. Painted is getting her fortune. Zoltar is here to give you the wisdom of the ancients. Do with it what you will. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for. It is a thing to be achieved. Create your destiny wisely, my friend. Legit painted just made it to the bonus. We're gonna try to do it again. Where's that going? Yeah, so I went to this arcade a lot when I was a kid. I always tell people about it. It's cool to kind of share it with you even through uh, this medium here, so yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me at one of my favorite locations, one of my favorite childhood memory spots, Manitou Springs, Arcade Amusements. Is that a wrap for now? That's a wrap for now.
you can see Halloween lights and shit. You see the big purple lights? Is that the fucking place, you think? Right over there? I don't know. Look at the moon. <laughs> it was so quiet and calm and peaceful. Yeah, okay. It is Halloween night, 2022. And we're in Colorado, of course. We've been we, we've been keeping you updated with what we've been doing. Painted, what strain did we select as a pre-roll to smoke tonight? We are gonna smoke Happy Camper. It's called a Happy Camper. Let's I see. have to look it up. I'm sorry, okay. I was going. We're to gonna look it up on Leafly, faster. and we'll keep we'll, we'll we'll pop back with an update. But on top of smoking Happy Camper, I'll look while you update. Okay, on top of smoking Happy Camper for our strain of choice on. Halloween. Halloween night, 2022. We also decided to watch a movie. Not a Halloween movie necessarily, but... Oh. We're going to watch Friday. We're going to watch Friday the 13th. You already know. If you know me at all, I'm a Friday the 13th fan. So we're going to watch Jason Voorhees, Murder Some Counselors, Wild High on Happy Camper. How does that sound? <laughs> it sounds pretty good to me. We'll let, we'll let you know. I'm looking it up right now. It's an indica. Okay, the effects indica dominant are calming, relaxing, edging into sedative or higher dose. Edging into a sedative at higher doses and helping find relief from pain, insomnia, and low appetite. I don't know what kind of pain we need to find relief from, but hopefully it's not a machete to the arm or back of the head. I hope so too. <laughs> Like, Friday the 13th. did I sign up for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Friday the 13th. Let's go. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> okay. Day three. We are smoking a sativa this time. It's called, or I'll, I'll let Payne tell you. It's called Island Spice. Island Spice. <coughs> oh, man. Hang on, let's turn this way. Let's okay. get it sun. There we go. Yes, it's super fruity. <coughs> it's super, um, as soon as I hit it, it was like super fruity. It's it's sweet and fruity, and it's like really sativa definite. A lot, a lot of head high. Dominant? Dominant. It's really sativa dominant. It's a a definite. I was confused. I was like, sativa definite. <laughs> a lot yeah, of head high. True. But like no, I don't have any like paranoia or any other, um, negative sativa stuff. It honestly takes me a while to get paranoid. I have to actually have something cause me to be paranoid. Like if we heard someone just yell hello, I'd 100% get paranoid. But right now I'm doing pretty good. Day three, sorta. It's like two and a half. Day two and a half. What are we doing today? We do. Well, first we're first we're smoking this, and then we're gonna go to um, we're gonna go to Uncle Sam's Pancake House. Somewhere between Beta 2 and Colorado City. It is so good, guys. Kind of like corner little diner place, but not like two hole in the wall to where you kind of like worried about what you're eating. Bowser will <laughs> definitely let you guys know somewhere. Bowser loved this place. The 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 waitress we had the first time we ever went was like she was so, so polite, so polite and peppy, and just like one of the greatest waitresses we ever had. It was fantastic. <laughs> it's so funny because <laughs> I love when Bowser gets excited about like the little things because I can't, I can't, I can't really serotonin with little things so she'll be like, oh that lady was so nice you guys this is the best day ever and it's, it's fantastic like talk about above and beyond we i think we all tipped her individually yeah i think we did <laughs> it was good so we're gonna uh, go yeah. back there hopefully we get the same waitress and then we're gonna we're gonna good. figure out the plans for the day yeah we got some ideas the idea we're not gonna keep you updated <laughs> okay until we figure it out well wait you guys are gonna have to sit on the edge of your seats all right I'll see you at breakfast. Breakfast. Okay, so I changed the plans for whatever reason. The pancake house was closed today. So we went to our savior, motherfucking Doug. I, can't, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, Doug Doug was here to come in clutch with our delicious breakfast. And I had pancakes and it had a sweet French toast called Sweet Toast. And it was orange and vanilla battered. French toast? Orange and vanilla battered French toast. It was so good. I, I tried painted. to
We decided to go to the Cave of the Winds today. It was really cool, really fun. Tour guide was nice. Small tour, so it wasn't too... Small tour guide. Small tour guide. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it was cool. Now we're up on these mountains, and it was hard to breathe for a minute, but now I'm good. I'm but, doing fine. But today, we're going to go to motherfucking... Garden of the Gods. Garden of the Gods. We're going to... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get a joint. We're going to go to the Garden of Gods. We're going to hike the trails. And smoke and vlog it. And look, there's some underpants. Somebody has fucked here. More on that That's fucking. That's a real cave of the winds, if you know what I'm saying. This is it, Garden of the Gods. We're here. It's one of my favorite spots I've ever gone to. It's great for hiking. Just enjoying the sights. You'll see. We'll, we'll go up some different trails. One of them is called the Siamese Twins Trail. And it's really fun. They have like a rock formation that that leaves a hole in the middle, and you can perfectly see Pikes Peak, which is right there, by the way. And yeah, so let's let's fucking uh, go up some of these trails, find a good spot to smoke. Oh yeah. Lots of tall grass and the trees. I almost made that like a perfect, like neat circle and then I tripped over a rock. Oh, man. I was like, wow, how graceful this circle look. I might try it again. Everything is boring and switching moves and boxcars in that little alley, which is so much like the alleys of old. And I hear far off in the sense of coming night that is just That's Siamese Twins Trail, or Siamese Twins Rocks right there. There's a hole at the bottom where you could look through and it's a picture perfect view of Pikes Peak. We're gonna go hike over there. Onward. Mount St. 
Saint Coco. The natives believe it's a hundred years old. You go, Saint Coco. We're looking for snakes. I'm always on the lookout for a snake. I know what to play, I just don't know how. Give me the controller, I'll figure it out. So if I remember correctly, once uh, my dad and my brother and I, we went off trail a little bit. You can see it's a little beaten, kind of off trail right there, going that way. And I'm pretty sure we walked down that way a little bit. Definitely the memory comes back as soon as I'm in this area. And I know we used to hike this all the time. But we went like maybe towards those trees right there and lo and behold we heard the fucking rattlesnake sound and my dad and my brother said that they both saw it i didn't see shit, but we just they turned and ran so i was right behind them and we fucking bolted to, like to this area right here so it was a, it was a scary encounter but you know they warned us and we left so thanks rattlesnakes for letting us know be <laughs> scared of you look at this park guys and look at these stoners. Let's zoom in. What are, what are they doing? What are they? Look at them taking that cute selfie. They're so cute. We made it. We're here. Siamese Twins Trail. Let's go up this trail right here. We're going to find the little rock face where we can stick our face through. Yeah. Can I get a hoi, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. standing on earlier. Sorry. Siamese twins. Siamese twins rock. Oh yeah. It looks like something straight out of Red Dead Redemption, don't you think? Good shit. <laughs> Good shit. Heck yeah. Poo. All right, Garden of the Gods. About to smoke our joint. What are we smoking? Marmalade is served. It's Manitou Golden Marmalade. Maggie. Get a little look at our surroundings. Nice, peaceful, quiet. All right, Benign is sparking it up. Maggie's Golden Marmalade. It's going to be dope. I can't remember if it's an indica or a hybrid, but... It is an indica. An indica. I believe it's 60-40 dominant. Dope, 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 dope. So, yeah, we I love hiking the Garden of the Gods. This is one place that um, we would go to all the time. One thing about it is it's, is it's free. The guy who owned the land that the Garden of the Gods now is, his, like, dying wish or deathbed thing or in his will, whatever you call that, uh, wanted this park to be free to the public forever um until the end of time as long as humans exist so that's what it is you can just come up here and hike all these trails it's beautiful views incredible you know smells of the pine all the mountains behind us <laughs> yeah we're looking at pike's peak right over here on the right <laughs> i don't know what that fucking peak is called 
but surprisingly, even though it's like bulbous, it's closer to us, so it's not quite as high as Pikes Peak. True. But um, yeah, I loved, loved coming here as a kid, and when I met Painted and decided to take her here on our four, eighth, eighth <coughs> anniversary. Yeah, 2014. Crazy. We came here for our eight-year anniversary. Yeah, and... Uh, that was eight years ago. It was, was literally the, half our relationship yeah. ago. So that was that was the first time Painted went to... Or been to Colorado, period, honestly. Saw the Rocky Mountains, been yeah. to Colorado. I'm from the Appalachian Mountains, and it is, it is not the same. Like, we have some beautiful fucking mountains, and, like, the Grandview State Park, like, in the area that I was from, beautiful. But then I, like, came out here, and I was like, holy crap, this is, like, a whole nother level of mountains. <laughs> no one does it like the Rockies. Nope. And this is one thing that we kind of became a tradition since we started coming here is, well, we have to hit the Garden of the Gods. You can't come to Manitou or Colorado Springs and not hit the Garden of the Gods. It's Especially free. if it's free. It's free. There's no There's reason. nothing better not to do. There's no reason not to go. So, yeah, we make it a point, and then we, we always bring a joint. Make it a point to always bring a joint. <laughs> and uh, we find some. Joint. Look at us from up here. Hey. Yeah, we find some secluded uh, area to. Like off trail area and smoke, and we toke up and just chat. And now we're actually kind of Chit sharing chat. that chit chat. <laughs> so now we're kind of sharing that moment with you. So if you have one, spark it up and, and smoke with us. Facts, 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 facts. It's always fun to do that. Man, this is making me best Bowser. She loved the spot. Shout out to Bowser. <clears throat> I think we smoked here when we came with her back in April. Also, shout out to Limbo. Limbo's a hiker. I know he's Dude, always. Yes, oh my God. He's got nature. Limbo, I don't know how you do this all the time. I don't have the breathing. I mean, probably because I'm doing this. But. <laughs> Hell yeah. I could do it all the time. Oh yeah. We used to. We didn't have a Nintendo. We didn't have a PlayStation for a minute. So when we lived in these, uh, up in these mountains, all we did was hike. That's all we had. And we, there was this trailer park that we lived in. And right behind it was a trail called the Paul Intamin Trail. Maybe we'll get that to, uh, while we're oh, here. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> it had a lot of good... Uh, Views um, too. Yeah, the cover of my single stranger is actually taken from that trail. It's Was a, that the one with the cactus in your hand? No, that's the one with the uh, with the little waterfall. The stranger. Um, it's like a silhouette of me with the waterfall and shit behind it. You can't really tell it's a little waterfall, but it's the waterfall that I mentioned Damn. and the river that I mentioned. I know what song. I'm telling you about, but I know I'm talking because I had to have filmed it, right? <laughs> yeah. I've seen it. Well, it's before. just the, the cover. Just the cover art. I took the picture and edited the photo. It was a picture. Yeah. I wonder what convert that is. But yeah, it's creepy. There's one spot in, in the Paul Intamin Trail where me and my brother would hike to. And it goes up and around this mountain. You can see our trailer park like hundreds of feet down. And then we you hit the split. And at the split, there's like a cross and, and a bunch of rocks piled up. And we got so freaked out the first time we saw that shit. We, were, we just immediately saw it. We looked at each other and we like <laughs> turned and ran because we were like, what the fuck is this cross and this pile of rocks? There's like a dead body over here. Is what somebody's going to pick it, come out here and snatch us. And we ran and exited that trail that like, all the way back as fast as we could possibly human go. That would have been fucking terrible. And we were like 10 or 11. So it was like, it, you know, we weren't armed in any way. We didn't have a BB gun, a knife, nothing. So. Just, just our foot power and our raw stamina. Ten-year-old stamina. Ten-year-olds have a lot of stamina. I don't have any stamina. Especially ten-year-old boys. Um, sorry, I sorry, I hate to do this. Our battery is running low. We're gonna have to cut this one short. I have a couple little snip snaps mm -hmm. on our way out. But uh, a couple of interesting tidbits. But hey, stick with us. We'll be right back. And thanks for smoking with us here at the Garden of the Gods. Yeah. Marmalade has been served. Marmalade. You're funny. We're here at Red Rock, Red Rock Canyon, open area, hiking trails and stuff like that. Nice, beautiful red rocks just behind us, yeah. Big open area, really dope. No swimming. And no 
crime scene. Okay, we walked up this first little trail. I see a big blue sky. Don't know what's on the other edge of this, but I feel like we're gonna get a nice view. It's literally an open area, like it says. Wow. Noise. Look at the pastures. Holy shit. Garden of the Gods right there. Can you see the little shop up there? Pike's Peak. Red Rock Canyon, motherfucker. Found this trail. This is the trail we were looking for the whole time. Here it is. Go up it with this. It's high. So, we just walked up Red Rock Canyon trails. We're all the way around this canyon. And uh, at the top, we smoked a Kim Dog joint. No, it was no. Komodo Dragon. See, that's how good it was. It's called Kimodo Dragon, but like C H E M. Like Kim Dog. Like Kim Dog. So, <laughs> it's part Kim Dog, which is why I thought that. But yes, uh, we're baked as fuck thoroughly. And. Uh, oh, great. It's a, uh, what was it, sativa? It was a sativa dominant hybrid. Mm -hmm. So very active right now. I feel very active too. That's why I was able to scale that 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 hill like that. Yeah. <laughs> tell me how we got to the top. And then when we got to the top of that hill, just after I got done recording, there was a, a big ass bag of that s'more cereal that you see, the Malto Meal Horses. brand s'more cereal. Gotta watch out for horse poop. A Malto Meal brand s'more cereal and then there was a human there presumably homeless so yeah that happened so we just turned around and left but yeah that was that was interesting that was an interesting adventure <laughs> into the earth it's our last night in colorado springs in manitou springs uh well I didn't mean to bum paint it out like that, That's but <laughs> I didn't know how we were going to start. And I was like, all excited. And I was like, oh yeah. Yeah. But we're going to end it right. We're going to do some like night shots. I'm going to play a little bit more games at the arcade and, uh, you know, just, just bring it in with some fun yeah. video games and, and activities while they're still open yeah. and everything. And Can then we're going to dinner maybe. Yeah. Probably get some pizza. Mm, pizza's delicious. Pizza's always good. This we this is the longest we've been in Colorado without getting pizza. That is true. We usually have pizza like the first night. Usually. We usually get pizza the very first That's night. That's because we're usually like high on edibles. We've been smoking a lot of pre-rolls. Yeah, so. But, you know, we're going to we're gonna end it with some pizza, some video games. So that'll be fun. And then we'll keep you updated with uh, our our leaving trip. And that'll be like the epilogue to our this video. Our departure. Our departure. Or we'll, we'll stop at Ludlow and smoke. There we go. Sounds good. Some type of. Some type of weed. All right, Can't see you at the arcade. Okay. Bye. See ya. This is a park we used to frequent all the time as children's. 
and uh, it's got like art and, and, law, and a lot of grass to run around in. But one really cool thing is, oh, it's called Memorial Park, I guess. But one really cool thing is it's got this tree that's got a seat inside of it. I used to be able to fit in there. Nope. But the paint is pretty comfortable. But yeah, I, used, I, I can't fit in there anymore. It's way too small. But you know, as you can see, there's like a window. That's what's up there. I've got my jacket. Yeah, and then there's a playground and there's a creek that runs along.